Hi, and welcome back to Maths Class. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is look at one of the worked examples that we went through in the previous video. But this time when we use our calculator, we're not going to put in the longhand version where we have to use the equation. Now you do need to know the equation and there will definitely be times when you will need to use the equation to solve a question. But if you're given all the information the way we are here, and you're given uh, the number of trials and the probability of success, and you know it's a binomial distribution, then you can calculate the probability that X equals a certain value or that X is greater than or equal to a certain value using your CAS. And this is how it looks. So um, I just bring up my CAS calculator. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to go to interactive and then I go down to distribution. And now you've got three choices. So at the moment, I've told you that we're working with discrete and you know that this is discrete because binomial is counting things. So how many, in this example, it's how many people um, have a certain opinion, right? How many people are in favor or not in favor? So it's, we're definitely counting. So we're in discrete and we know it's binomial because we've already, we've already identified that. And so what we want, we've got two choices here that are binomial. There's binomial PDF and binomial CDF. Now P stands for the probability distribution function. The C in the CDF is cumulative and we'll see in a minute what that does. So the PDF, um, all I need to enter is, okay, what's my question? Well, my question is asking me, let's just have a look at it, um, for X equals three and I know that I've got n is 5 and p is 0.72. So I simply enter in x equals 3 and then n is 5 and p is 0.72 and I hit OK. And there it is. Um, you can see that I got 0.2926 when I did it before and there's my answer 0.2926. How good is that? Okay, really quick. Um, we're going to look at the second one now, which is the probability that X is greater than or equal to three. And what that does is it basically does this. You see how what we did in our working here is we added up X equals three and four and five. Well, it does all of those for us. So I go back to interactive, down to distributions. I'm still in discrete. I'm still in binomial, but now I'm going to choose CDF. Now it's asking me for lower and upper. If X is greater than or equal to three, then lower, my lower boundary is three. My upper boundary, well, my, I've got five trials. So the largest number that X can take is five. So basically I am adding three, four, and five. So my lower boundary is three and my upper boundary is five. The number of trials is still five and P is still 0.72. Um, pause just means the probability um, of success, okay, P-O-S. So let's do it, 0.86235, which would round to 0.8624. And if you have a look at um, what happened here, 0.8624, that is the answer that I got. All right, it's really nice and quick. Um, it's a much better way of doing things on your CAS calculator when this is all that you have to do. So make sure that when it's an option to use your CAS calculator, that this is what you do rather than the longhand way. Okay, that's it for this video.